what's up everyone dapper here we're back playing some more marble world today we're going to be continuing the science experiment that we started a few episodes ago so if you haven't seen that definitely go check it out anyway i want to make a few changes to this so as you can see i never ended up coloring this so i think i want to go back and give it some more color uh, a lot of you asked me or suggested that you wanted it to be colored. So I think we're gonna start off by doing that and then I'm gonna get rid of this temporary track down here and we're gonna add a whole new line of science experiment type things. Hopefully it looks cool. I'm hoping to make some like beakers or like, I don't know, you know, science things. <laughs> anyway, let's jump right in. Hopefully we can make something pretty cool. So the first thing I wanna do here is spawn the marbles in. All right, so I saw the marbles in, and now I'm just gonna color kind of each section according to their marble color. I think that might look a little better. I'm probably gonna do there the more vibrant one. That looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna do that to every side here. I'm gonna get this though. There we go. Now I'm considering doing the tubes as well, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that just yet. All right, there's one. All right, so I think this is already starting to look a bit better. Um, I'm going to test out how the tubes are going to look. That might look pretty interesting. I guess I'll do the tubes for now, and if I need to, I'll undo it later. Um, that might be too much. I might keep these parts the regular color. Anyway, that's basically what I'm going to do here. As soon as I'm done with all the colors, I will delete the track, and hopefully we're going to make something cool. All right, so I'm almost done here. I have painted uh, four of them and I have three left. So up a five, I'm really bad at counting. No big deal. Anyway, I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep the uh, the tubes colored or not. Uh, I guess it looks kind of cool. I might leave it, uh, but I definitely wanna keep these, uh, these chamber areas a neutral color so they all kind of look the same. But anyway, I'm gonna finish up these last three and then we can get started on the new track. All right, so everything has been painted. It is now time to get rid of the track down here. I'm not really sure what we're going to do quite yet, but I do know that I want to maybe make a pipe off of here and then go into some kind of science experiment. So uh, we can go ahead and place that here. You get this into a position where the marbles can actually roll. So something like that. That should work. All right, time to get some straight pipes here. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, I think I'm going to bring this back up. We can get some more height on the marbles. We'll do a few more straight pipes here. It might look like something pretty cool. Okay, so it looks a little wonky. Uh, but that should work. I mean, it kind of looks like a test tube. Here, let me get it painted real quick. Kind of getting my ahead of myself here, but I just want to see how this is going to look. I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and paint this as well as that. And now I'm going to see if I can copy paste this to kind of look like a uh, some kind of jar or glass piece that marbles will go into. Uh, let's take off snapping. Okay, so that should be pretty good. Uh, I don't think I need all this height, so I'm gonna delete this and bring this down. That looks a bit better, and now I can kinda put it over this contraption. Excellent, that works. Uh, I do need to make a bottom to this thing. It's kinda weird that the table's just here. Got a curved piece like this, maybe? Oh yeah, that looks good. Perfect. All right, so now we got some test tubes coming out. I'm probably gonna have to add all kinds of gravity and boosters to this, but for now, I'm just gonna get this set up, kind of how it's gonna be. Uh, but that looks good. We got some test tubes going on here. Um, here, we are gonna make some kind of contraption. 
And I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do that yet, but... Alright, I actually might have to go a little bit taller for this, but here is the contraption that I want to make. So I want this to be inside of a glass piece. A pipe is definitely not. So I'm going to have to make a custom glass piece. All right, here we go. This is some kind of sciencey looking shape. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these. We'll copy paste them. I need to somehow make them meet up. It might be easier than I'm thinking though. I'm just going to copy paste this a bunch of times. And I think after this, I'm going to make a beaker and a Punson burner. Uh, I have this idea to get like a fiery marble with a trail and kind of make it look like one of these uh, glass pieces is on fire. I think that would be pretty interesting. All right, so I've decided to get rid of this outside piece. It just looks uh, a lot better open, I think. Anyway, I'm going to paint this and then I think we're going to make like a custom beaker after that. I'm going to go into decorations and get my shapes here. And I think I'm going to make it out of these small guys, maybe. All right, so here is half of my custom beaker. I don't know how this is going to look at all. But I'm going to copy paste this whole thing kind of into a circle and uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here we go. My custom beaker it looks kind of cool. Anyway, I am going to move this. It turned out pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh no, I'm not grabbing everything. Hold on. All right, so that looks good. Might be able to put that up a little bit higher. There we go. And now, <laughs> uh, time to set up a Bunsen burner. I'm going to take a little decoration here. I think I can do something like this. Okay, I'm almost done here. I just have to give this some physics. Uh, I got to reverse the gravity and then put some boosters in here. And we can kind of make it look like a little fire, hopefully. I mean, I was going to make it like uh, move around and such, but it kind of looks cool like that. I don't know, I might leave it for now. We got a little marble fire there. That looks not half bad. All right, so I think I need to continue the track from here and I do need to test this soon. I mean, I'm doing a lot of, of work here and I don't even know if this is actually gonna work. So I might need to go back and actually start setting up all the boosters and uh, gravity sections, which I think I'm gonna do that now. So, Let's see, we got some marbles here. All right, time to test this out. I'm going to send the marbles down. Hopefully they all make it over here. All right, so here come the marbles. Uh, they go kind of slow through there, but that's fine. It works. Let's see, they get through here pretty okay too. And then they start filling up, which is perfect. I think I need to somehow get all the marbles from here to go into this tube which i might just do a bunch of random boosters that bring all the marbles to this side and then uh just have boosters going up this tube here i want to do that now uh i think it's this guy here yeah hmm <laughs> so this doesn't exactly work as planned um uh, I think it's, I think this is too short for the marbles to get into anyway. I wonder if I can move this down. <laughs> oh no, I have to, I might need to make an invisible thing in order to get this to kind of work properly. I'm just going to grab all the tubes here. All right, here we go. So this should work. I put some, uh, gravity pads under what the heck is going on hello 
Uh, I put a gravity pad underneath so that it should send it up. No. There we go. Right now I'm just copy pasting boosters underneath here to 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 make it so that it no, doesn't work at all. Oh great. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Alright, let me send some marbles down. I don't know how I'm gonna make sure the marbles actually get in here. Alright, so right now I'm just adding some boosters into the tubes to make sure the marbles kind of make it through here. Uh, I do need to change the gravity right here because this is kind of like the apex or the highest that they, they get, whatever that is called. And uh, I need to make sure that they change directions and go back down, kind of go with the flow of this uh, pipe piece here. I'm just getting this placed hopefully kind of cleanly. Something like that. I will change that to positive one and hopefully this works. If it does, I am going to make all this section invisible. Anyway, let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, we'll send the marbles down now and uh, we're going to have to wait a few minutes for them to get here because they do have to go through these uh, these chambers. But here we go. It looks like a few of the marbles are on the way now. They are changing gravity and kind of going into this uh, I guess area here. I don't know what to call this. This is like a like a bucket. This is our science bucket. Anyway, here come a couple marbles and oh, oh, I think they're getting stuck on the actual thing. Interesting. I think I need to move this slightly. Is that was happening here. Can I just move this slightly. There. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Uh, just because it would be too much work to move this whole thing. But anyway, I think it is working. Uh, I now I need to go down here and do the same thing. I need a booster and uh, negative gravity. And hopefully we can keep this moving. Alright, so it looks like everything is working in these tubes. It's actually kind of cool. Look at that. It's so satisfying to watch them go up and down. Like they're actually being like sucked through the tube or something. Anyway... I do need to add another one here, and it looks like I need to lower this down because uh, the marbles can't exactly get out here. So I'm going to pause it. I'm probably going to have to uh, add an invisible block here too. I suspect that as soon as I lower this down, they're just going to kind of fall everywhere. And there they go. <laughs> All right, so I need to add a booster here and then change the gravity. Then I'll put one of these guys here so that no marbles can get out, hopefully. And now I need to change the position of this. And I probably need to do the same thing here. I don't know. I don't know if I can get the marbles to go straight in here. So I think I'm going to make a little catch area. All right, I've decided to give these tubes a bit more color. I feel like it's a little bit more fun this way. So I'm just, oop, not that. Painting everything that I can. And uh, I still want to be able to see the marbles. So we are keeping it transparent. All right, I think we are nearing the end of this one. Um, I think... I think we could just add a few more glass pieces on the table. You know, try to get them out of this uh, beaker here. Maybe into something else. I kind of want to use the back of this table to kind of fill it out, you know, with uh, with science. So that's kind of my plan now. It's just to kind of recreate this thing here so that it sucks the marbles up. I guess they're kind of getting stuck there, but hopefully they make their way out. Anyway, they make their way through the tubes. Uh, I left this one not colored. I suppose I could just paint this one color. Pretty pieces on it. Didn't want to have to paint each manually. Something like that. And uh, I really didn't mean to paint it wood color. I meant to do something. That actual. There we go. And then I'll change these colors real quick. And I think I need to put a booster here. The marbles are getting stuck. So physics booster. Oh, I think they're getting stuck on this. Got it. All right, we're getting a clog right now, but hopefully that doesn't happen the next time around. 
when I restart the marbles. Hopefully that turns out fine. I guess I'm gonna paint this beaker as well. Uh, what do we do? Be like a yellow? Oh. <laughs> there we go. That looks pretty cool. I am gonna paint this back. Out. All right, so they're still kind of getting piled up here. I'm not really sure what to do about it. Oh, this cyan color ended up being really bright. I mean, it looks good on that kind of background, but once you're like up close, you can't see anything. Holy cow. All right, here come the marbles. Hopefully they don't get stuck here like they did before. Hopefully the boosters just keep them moving along. Oh wow, and we actually get a lot of marbles stuck in here. I thought this was enough of an angle, but apparently it's not. So I guess I'm just going to grab one of these boosters here. All right, there we go. Okay, so it looks like I have to, some stuff to fix here. Uh, I might need to put a booster here to make sure they go down. Actually, I need to make sure that uh, we do the boost and the gravity here. I'm not really sure what to do after this. I kind of feel like we just need to fill it out. Fill out the table. Uh, maybe get some more pipes out of here. And then... Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think we're going to put the marbles down into something here. Then we'll pull them back out the same exact way. And then we'll kind of wrap it around this stuff. And then we will exit somewhere over here. That's the plan. Hopefully it turns out good. We have a lot more boosters and stuff to go. And then I need to somehow fix this area. Uh, and that should be it. That should be it for this run. Okay, so I went kind of ridiculous on the pipes, but hopefully it turns out pretty cool. I'm hoping. Anyway, as long as it works, if I can get the marbles to go all the way through. Anyway, I do need to make a little uh, kind of beaker or something back here or whatever. That should work. Uh, I need to start painting this the colors I need real quick. All right, so I basically copy pasted this and flipped it upside down and covered itself as you can see. So hopefully the marbles don't fall out here anymore. Um, it shouldn't be a problem. Although it might, I mean, this is getting really backed up, um, but it looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool that it's filling up. So, oh, and I am losing, because it's getting backed up, I am losing a lot of marbles through here. They are kind of floating away. Um, I don't know what to do about that. I mean, I've already tried boosting it. There's really not much else I can do here, but uh, so I might leave it anyway. Uh, I do need to add some boosters, some gravity pads, and I need to paint all of this. And I need to do a lot of boosters and gravity pads all throughout this giant pipe that I made. Anyway, hopefully everything works. I'm going to do all that real quick, and then we can have a race. Because uh, this is uh, pretty cool. This is a little science table. So after this is all done, we can race and see which marble will make it to the end first. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the track is finally complete. After a few hours of work here, uh, I didn't color the tubes. I thought it looked better uh, with colored tubes and non-colored tubes kind of working together. Anyway, we are about to run this track. Uh, as you can see, I put gravity pads and boost pads all through the pipes so they most they work for the most part uh a few areas that i might need some work is in here i'll probably go back and paint these later but for right now we're actually just going to run it because uh yeah i i ran it once and everything seemed to work okay so we're gonna run it a second time just so you guys can see it in action I'm gonna go ahead and spawn the marbles in now. Go ahead and guess what color you think is gonna win. Um, it's not much of a race once they get to the final tube, but you can still guess which one will make it there first. So as you can see, the marbles are now filling up the center tube and they are all mixing up and reaching down here at the bottom. They are now flowing down the pipes. I had to boost all on this pipe just to make sure the marbles keep flowing. And uh, as you can see, this uh, this run is not lossless by any means. In fact, we lose tons of marbles 
to just going up into the sky. Anyway, uh, they come down here and they start filling up this tube. As you can see, it is filling up and coming over to this little spiral. And uh, so yes, I closed off the spiral, so the spiral works pretty good now. We don't lose any marbles here. <laughs> It's so funny, as you can see everywhere, marbles are just flying into the sky. Anyway, we are now just waiting on these marbles to make it down the spiral and go over towards the uh, the Bunsen burner and uh, beaker. I don't know, I just thought this was funny that the marbles are just down here kind of burning away. So I guess they'll come over here and boil here in a second and make their way out of the tube. They are just about down the spiral now. Just a few more turns. Uh, I did end up boosting this just so they don't get stuck here. So you'll see a marble just shoot through there now. And now we're going over here to this beaker Bunsen burner setup or boiling flask. I guess it is a boiling flask. Anyway, we're just waiting for the marbles to boil here. We're really just waiting for them to get into the tube. There goes one of them. And it uh, looks like Cyan has a huge lead here. Uh, might end up being the winner. Who knows? coming over to this piece of glass. Uh, there's nothing really making the marbles go up this pipe, but I, I, I guess it just kind of found its way there, which is good. And uh, it is now in the last pipe. So I don't think there's any way another marble can get in front of it. So if you did say Cyan, um, you are correct. Cyan will be the winner here. Uh, if you guys like this build, definitely let me know. I could definitely build onto this some more. I have a few more sciencey ideas, possibly. Uh, there goes Cyan out the tube. So if I do continue this, I will be picking it up from here. And uh, I really like this run. Uh, I especially like the beginning where the marbles all spin up and mix together. It looks really cool. And uh, the pipes, the pipes are super awesome. They really look like some science tubes that are just kind of, you know, transferring liquids back and forth. Even though it does get a little backed up, I think it still looks super cool. Uh, this build ended up being pretty awesome. Uh, as you can see, we might have a couple kinks. Like, I think all the marbles are pretty much getting stuck here now. So, in order to fix that, I'd probably have to add some kind of uh, booster, which I suppose I can do right this second. Um, that's just going to shoot them back down. And then we'll do something like that. And that should hopefully get these marbles moving some more so yeah there are some things that uh definitely need some figuring out which i would probably do in later episodes but uh this has been a pretty fun build so far yeah i hit they're, they're just really stuck in here i'll leave that there hopefully they work themselves out um but yeah just watching all the marbles go down the tubes here is so much fun um Especially this tube that kind of wraps itself all the way around the table. Super neat how uh, we just changed the gravity back and forth and it made them kind of go all the way around the tubes. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to, th <clears throat> don't forget to hit the subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.